What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing my very first makeup tutorial for my channel and of course I had to have this very special guest on. Hello, I'm Sheena. I'm Anna's sister. I thought it'd be really cool to have her do a really bright color on my eyes. <laughs> So I totally forgot to mention when we were shooting this of why I'm having my sister do my makeup other than the fact that we are quarantined together, but it's because she's been an incredible makeup artist for many years and we've been pretty much getting glammed up and she's been teaching me her beauty tricks since we were really little. I think it's something that people might be afraid to do you know to do like a really bright blue eye or a really yeah. bright purple eye right but there's definitely different styles of that and what sheena did for me today is a look that you could really wear anywhere i took a teal and just made everything else a lot more muted so it looks more natural it's still glam but it is not like crazy in your face color all right but before we get into it make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video and of course let us know what you think about it after you watch it. Let's get into it. So first step, I am starting with a little bit of hydrating oil. Now moving on to brows, she is using the Benefit Precisely pencil in 3.5. Her technique for doing natural looking brows is she starts at the bottom to create the base of the brow. After that's done, she does the same thing on the top of the brow, but doesn't take it all the way in to create that softer look. At the center of the brows, she lightly feathers up to mimic natural hairs. To define the brows even more, she's taking concealer with a short, flat brush and lining underneath the bottom of the brow. And yes, we're still doing eyebrows. I know for me, at least, they tend to be the longest part of the whole makeup process. Now to prep the lids for eyeshadow, she's using concealer, dabs it onto the lids, then takes a fluffy buffer brush to blend it in all over. All you see is my dark under eyes and the white. <laughs> what I'm going to use as your bronzer is Hula Caramel, which is like a really warm brown. I'm also going to throw it in your crease. I love using bronzers and blushes in the eyes. I feel like it makes everything look super cohesive. Mm -hmm. And less products is great. She's now applying a cream colored base from MAC to prep the teal pigment for the lid and give it something to hold on to. We're gonna go in with the teal eyeshadow. So I just grabbed a short bristled dense brush and I'm gonna dip it into the pigment. I'm gonna softly pat it onto the eyelid. And now I just grabbed the same brush that I used for the crease mm -hmm. and I'm just blending it through just to kind of marry the two colors together mm. so you're not going to see any super harsh lines. All right, I'm a little hot so I'm going to take this cardigan <laughs> off. There's no AC in the Bay Area, that's just like not a thing. Yeah. I'm also going to grab a different primer. This one is called Girl Meets Pearl and it's a liquid glow for your face. To brighten and conceal the under eye, she's using my Holy Grail concealer, which is Tarte Shape Tape in Medium. Using a fluffy buffer brush, she's going to blend it in and bring it down to make an upside down triangle. I'm going to do a tiny bit here at the tear duct, and that's just going to make the appearance that your eyes look more awake. Now that we've finished with the concealer, I am going to go in with a little bit of liner on the bottom. This one is from NYX. It's called Cafe. It's like a medium brown bronzy. And then using a dense short brush, she's blending the eyeliner out. So now I'm going to go in with some foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way. So 
I am going in with a little bit of Soft and Gentle, which is the highlighter from MAC. She highlights the tear duct area, moves on to the brow bone and the bridge of my nose, right above the cupid's bow, and pretty much all the high points of my face. I grabbed a blush brush and Peachy Keen from MAC. Or Margin. We can't tell because the label's rubbed off. I think it's Margin because that's my holy grail. Woo! Anyway. <laughs> well, she also knows the products better than I do. I'm going to swirl it in there and I'm going to apply it onto the apple of her cheek, starting kind of closer to her ear. Also, another thing I like to do is I like to swirl my blush brush into the blush, kind of pinch it, go ahead and close your eyes, and throw a little bit. Where? Up in the crease. Why? Wow. I feel like it just makes everything look whole, more cohesive, like warms it up a bit. Using the same bronzer she used in my crease, she's applying it throughout my face. So now I'm going to contour your nose the tiniest bit. You have the tiniest nose. Yeah, I'm like, are you going to make my nose disappear? Because no. if you contour too much, you can't even see that I have right? a nose. I have a Dwight Schrute nose. It's too small. Now, to set everything, she's using Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder, and she buffs it on in just a few areas that tend to produce oil. I'm gonna do a little bit of the Fenty Trophy Wife in gold, just for funsies. For shits and giggles. And of course, a glam look is not complete without some falsies. Last but not least, for the lips, we went with MAC Whirl Lip Liner. And when she applies this, she also likes to fill in the entirety of the lips. And for the gloss, we used DC Beauty, which is a lip oil, and this is in Lemonade. And this is the final look. Soft, warm tones with just a pop of teal on the lid. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Let us know what other looks that you'd like to see. We're here in quarantine, so we got the time. Yeah. <laughs> and let us know if you'd like to see more makeup videos like this. All right, bye. bye. Thank you.